Hi, my name's Andy. Uh, there's a couple of reasons that I'd love to go on the island. Um, one being, um, I lost my niece three years ago to uh, cystic fibrosis. Um, and just before she went down for a double lung transplant, um, she said to me uh, she was scared. Um, and I told her I was scared too, um, but not to worry. If she, if she didn't wake up, just treat it as a long sleep. Um, inside, my heart was breaking, but she was the strongest person and so inspirational. Um, she planned everything, her funeral, you name it, everything. Um, and when when the island first came out, I I told her that I'd love to go on the island, and uh, she said do it. But she she laughed at the same time, and I said, "What's funny?" And she went, "It would be so funny seeing me on the telly, on an island trying to survive, um, chasing pheasants and things like that." Rained. Um, don't know what she meant by that, but. I'm quite a big bloke, I'm 17 and a half stone, so running's not my forte. Um, so yeah, my main reason is to obviously push myself, see what my limits are, um, and basically to be the best person that I can be. Like I said, she was the strongest person I know. She was 23 when she died. Um, she planned her funeral by the time she was 13. Um, she'd asked people who was going to carry her coffin and all sorts. Um, that just blew me away, and it, it just it's just made me believe that every day's for living, and if you can do something or try something new, do it. Um, the island is something that I've. Done. Like I said, I've watched it ever since it started. I watch it every time it's on. I even shout at the telly and tell people how to do it and say, look, you're doing it wrong. I could show you how to do it. Um, I know it's not that easy. Uh, bear, give me the chance and I'll see if I can beat everybody else the way they do it. Um, I'm strong, body and minded, um, and just... I just want to have a go, um, so give me the chance on craft videos, I know that much, <laughs> thank you, bye.